You are your own worst enemy, Franco. Dr. Obrecht. Do not sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. I, I was hoping to have a word with you. Obviously, something's going on with Franco, and I know how much he trusts you. I have nothing to say to you on the matter except for this. You are a terrible, horrible person. Huh. Okay. Then this is the place. Well, at least you weren't kidding. This is a crummy neighborhood. Still too good for Tom Baker. Person? Where is this attitude coming from? As you remember, I fired you once. So I've never been fond of your professional skills. As for your personal life, your dealings with Jason Morgan prove beyond questions that you are a liar. And I've always played the damsel in distress so that men will rescue you. How dare you? How dare I what? Speak the truth. You only pretend to be fragile and delicate. In truth, you are a ruthless manipulator. I won't allow Franco to fall prey to your passive aggressive machinations. Franco is a grown man, and remember, he pursued me. I don't understand. Franco and I have been getting closer for months. Why today are you in overdrive attacking me? I've wasted enough time on you. I have patience to attend. What is on Oak Street? All right. Maybe they're not here, maybe. I mean, if I just get out of prison, I go out for a drink. Jeez, you scared me. Are you a friend of my brother's? No. I'm a dear friend of your rape victim, Elizabeth Weber. <laughs> 